Hi folks, I'm from HanAndroid.com where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and talk about Wi-Fi Tether and Wi-Fi Repeater. I know some of you actually use your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot as your home's internet connection. So you connect your laptop, your office computer, your Android tablets, your iHore tablets, all that good stuff. Well, you probably run into this problem if you have a big house. Uh, you try to use your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now the phone is not a router. It's not been designed to be a router. So the strength of signal may be good for a small home, but if you have two floors, if you have a large house, it's probably not going to work for you. So how do you extend the range of the Wi-Fi tether on your phone? Uh, it's actually rather simple actually. You can go ahead and go to Amazon and buy a Wi-Fi repeater. Now those things I've tried it out and they're not actually that great. The range isn't that great. A better method is if you have like an old router uh, sitting around or you can buy one of these cheap ass Cisco Linksys routers. This is the E1200 and you can put the DDWRT firmware which is sort of like custom ROM for routers. And what that allows you to do is hack it and you can increase the transmission signals. You can also turn it into a repeater that will repeat the signals of your Wi-Fi hotspot. So my internet is usually really fast. I get 100 megabits per second download on Comcast Business. Uh, but the other day it was down and some of you actually saw me on Twitter. I was having trouble. So what I did is tether off my Verizon Note 3, which I have unlimited grandfather plan. Now the problem with that phone is that once I take it into my tent outdoors, it gets nice 40 megabits per second download. If the phone's inside my house, it's dropped straight to like 10 megabits per second download. So that's another reason to have a Wi-Fi repeater. If you want to have your phone sitting in the part of your house that has the best 4G LTE signals, and how do you route all that signals to your house? So let me go ahead and show you my current setup and show you some test results. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so this is my computer. This is one of my main routers. This is my Comcast business, uh, and also I've got a bunch of gigabit. I got a bunch of routers in my house. Anyway, um, the other day Comcast went down. I was getting like one megabits per second download. So I usually tether off my phone, but to maximize the actual, uh, the maximize the actual output, I put my phone out here because out here, uh, if I do a speed test real quick. I will get uh, like 30, 40 megabits per second download because there's nothing blocking here. There we go, so I'm getting like 25, whatever. So this is actually using the hotspot right now, all right? So I've got that hotspot there. And let's go back to my, my office here. All right, so when my internet goes down, I have a wi wireless connector there. And I'm gonna go hit and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my Note 2. Well, it says Note 2, but that's actually my Note 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. I get fairly good speeds here. All right, let's do speed test. Okay, so I'm getting like five, six, and you can see I'm barely getting signal up there. And that's to my uh, Note 3 out there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to uh, the other part of my house, my other office here. So if I'm working in my other office, or let's say upstairs, I will probably lose the signal. See how it's, I'm getting like almost no bars? All right, and I'll do a speed test here real quick. And I should probably get like, like I, I sometimes it doesn't connect, it'll probably even disconnect. All right, as you can see, it's just not getting it. All right. All right, it's just not connecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my repeater, which is actually sitting on my desk, which is sort of halfway point between my Note 3 and here, which acts as a repeater. That's what a repeater does. So my repeater will repeat signals uh, from my Note 3. So it says Note 2, but it's actually Note 3. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed test. And now you will see that although I don't get full, full, uh, full 
20, 30 megabits per second download, but I'm getting fairly good from my tent uh, to all the way to the other side of my house. That's really good. Um, so by using repeaters, you can actually repeat as many as you want. Uh, you can actually have your uh, best signals repeated to everywhere in your house. All right, and you always want to put your phone where you get the best signal, obviously, because once you have that good signal download bandwidth, then you can repeat it. But it doesn't work the other way around. If you have like maybe 10 megabits per second and you try to repeat it, um, it's not as good. All right, going back to my desk, this is the repeater that I was talking about here. All right, and let me go ahead and show you how to set it up. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is obviously install DDWRT, which is not too difficult. I'll have links to where you can do this. Uh, this is an E1200, but you can use any other router. Uh, just check DDWRT, check for the supported routers. This is actually a really shitty one, um, but I have it laying around. That's why I turned it into a repeater. Once you have installed DDWRT, uh, then you can go ahead and follow my next directions. All right, first thing you want to do is obviously set up your mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, if your tether is blocked, make sure you root it and install a tether mod or install a customer ROM. All right, and go ahead and turn it on. You can see I've got it uh, set to... Make sure you choose an AP name that's easy to remember, Node 2, because we're going to go ahead and enter it into the repeater. Um, I usually switch between my Node 2 and Node 3. That's why I just name it Node 2. Uh, because you can go ahead and name any of your phones as Node 2 and this will repeat the same signals. Alright, and also do set a password so no one else can connect to your new repeater. Alright, set my password to 12345678. Use a WA2 uh, PSK all right, method. And also go to advanced options. Um, use 2.5 gigahertz for channel. You can go ahead, I think set it auto, but um, just set it to something you can remember. So I usually set it to six there. All right, and also for timeout settings, make sure you have it never timeout, so it's always on. Unless you want it to shut off, then your whole uh, hotspot's gonna turn off. So I've already set it to never timeout. And you can go ahead and place this uh, where you get the best 4G LTE signals. Uh, where you know your phone gets the best 4G LTE signals, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in my tent like I did before. All right, next, once you have uh, installed DDWRT, I recommend you do a hard reset. Um, you can do this easily by just holding down the reset button for like 30 seconds, all right? And this will allow you to follow my tutorial from the get-go. Or you can also do it from the interface if you want to. But this way, you're not you know starting with some other settings you had on there uh, and whatnot. All right, and I, I think it's been reset it. So I'm gonna leave that alone and let's go to our computer. All right guys, uh, once you have reset it, your router, uh, your DDWRT, hopefully you install the firmware, um, you, it will show up as DDWRT in your wireless network connections. You can also connect it via LAN, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it wirelessly. You can also do this on your phone. Uh, I'm just gonna show you with desktop because it's a lot easier. All right, once it's connected, all right, go ahead and go to, uh, go open up a browser and go to 192.168.1.1, all right? And this will get you into the DDWRT interface. Um, so you're gonna have to set a username. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to root. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna set it to 123123, 123, all right? So change the password, all right? And now you'll have to enter your password. So I'm gonna enter root 123123. 123. I'm gonna to go to wireless here, all right? And this is where you're gonna enter your, all of your information. So whatever you name the, um, your phone, actually I have it right here. So I named my SSID Note 2, so I'm gonna put Note 2, all right? And also you're gonna go ahead and choose uh, the wireless channel you chose, uh, which for me was six. And you can use uh, 40 megahertz, that'll give you, I think, double the bandwidth. And also you can change the network mode um, I usually keep it to NG mixed or N only. Um, it's up to you. N is the fastest, but you can do NG mix. Also, change the AP uh, to repeater bridge. All right. And that's about it. Go ahead and hit save. Oops, sorry. No, to actually, you don't have to enter all the other stuff. Just enter no to um, the, uh, the channel. Actually, it, it does it automatically. My bad. 
All right, next, go ahead and click on uh, Add under in, uh, Virtual Interfaces. All right, this is the actual repeater name you want to give it. This is the actual connection to your phone. So I'm going to name this Zetomax Repeater. All right. And hit Save. And you do have to set Wireless Security. So go to Wireless Security tab. And go ahead and go to WPA2 Personal. And set this to AES. AES. And set this to uh, the... The password for me it was uh, one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight let me unmask that to show you hit save don't hit apply settings yet all right until we're all done and go down here and go to w2a personal also and do the same thing and i believe the password have to be the same for both um so make sure you use the same uh same password one two three four five six seven eight all right, and you're gonna hit save. That's pretty much it, it's in repeating mode. Now there's one more thing we gotta go and we have to disable the firewall because we're not acting as a router. So go to security, uh, hit disable under SPI firewall and hit save at the bottom. All right, and also there's one more thing. If you wanna still access your, uh, your repeater GUI here, uh, graphic user interface. Make sure you enable this web GUI management. All right, otherwise you'll have to reset your router to get back into this or connected via LAN, which is a pain. And the port is gonna be 8080, or you can set that to 880 also if you want to. I'll show you that in a bit. All right, once that's done, hit save. All right, and also if you want to go back to uh, wireless Go to advanced settings. All right, this is where you can actually um, uh, increase the transmission power. So your repeater uh, we have, will have more power. So you can set from one to 250, all right? I recommend about 180. I find that if you actually go over, it doesn't actually help. Um, 180, so that will almost double your transmission power. Hit save. All right, once that's done, hit apply. And that's it. And give it a, give it about uh, five minutes. And this should show up here. The DDWRT should go away now. Uh, here a bit because the router is resetting, and it's going to show you Zetomax repeater that I, which I should be able to connect to. So I'll be back in about five minutes. Let the DDWRT router sit. All right, guys, it's been five minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to Zetomax repeater down here. That's my new repeater setting. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it. All right, it's connecting here. Uh, if you're having trouble, sometimes it does that. Uh, you may wanna reset the router. So I'm gonna to try to connect it uh, one more time. And if it, that doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and power off and power on my router. It's, this part is the hardest. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and un unconnect the cable and connect it back on. And give it another five minutes and the second time it should connect all right guys i after i just let it sit for like 10 minutes while i was having a smoke and uh it's finally working so let's go ahead and check out if my internet's working there we go and it's working we'll do a speed test on my here and do a test and now your repeater can be pretty much used anywhere and we'll do a quick speed test here just make sure we're getting some good speeds now with the repeater, uh, it repeats your signal, so it actually cuts down your bandwidth uh, in half. Um, so it isn't exactly the best way to get it, but uh, this is going to get you those signals where you need it the most uh, from your phone. So getting about six, seven, eight, that's yeah, going to change, but that's good enough. So there you go. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to extend the range or Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone with the use of repeater. Um, you can actually get these for like 15 bucks on Amazon, which is cheaper than getting a repeater. Those things actually don't have that good range anyways. Um, and this one actually, you can turn it into a router if you want to. You can do a bunch of stuff. And also you can increase the transmission signal, which is nice. I'll have the links where you can buy these. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another idea that you can do is I usually have my Wi-Fi hotspot in my car. If you get one of those uh, power inverters for your car, you can go ahead and plug in your router 
that has been turned into repeater, repeat the signals from your car and make it go much, much farther, extend the hell out of it. Anyway, I don't recommend you to do this setup uh, if you're gonna download a ton of stuff because the carriers, they might block you terminate you but if you just use internet for browsing the web and stuff this is a great way to set up your whole home internet without having to get a cable modem or dsl modem all off your phone and thanks for watching this video as always don't forget to hit that like subscribe and as always stay on android